For the program, I definitely have to say the hands-on experience. Most colleges that you go to, it's all textbook and doesn't seem like you learn near as much. You don't absorb the information through a book. So through the program, most everything we do is hands-on. It's very pretty. I'm used to very dry climate and it's a nice change to be in green surroundings and I love the beach. Um, tide pooling is always fun. I love to go scuba diving and hiking. There's tons of stuff to do here if you love outdoor activities. I did a practicum here at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. It is a 11 week program where you are placed with an aquarist and you do all the activities with them. I was placed with Anita Baker. She is the head aquarist of Passages of the Deep Pelagic Exhibit. Um, she was also in charge of the seahorse exhibits. Um, I think my favorite part of that was probably learning all the food preparations for the sharks and the bat rays. Um, we got to do stuff like pole feed the sharks. I did a lot of collecting out in the bay, um, tide pooling, collecting animals for the aquarium here. I heard about the program while I was still over in Corvallis at OSU and I heard about what they were trying to offer and how they were trying to make it different. That is, they were offering a lot of practical learning, a very hands-on type of program, and that's how I learn best and how I function best. Now, the ball of light, so it's going to come this direction, okay? My philosophy for taking care of animals is kind of a two-pronged thing. First, of course, you have the care of the animals in your charge. Um, I mean, you are their parent. You're responsible for maintaining their environment. You take care of what they're moving and swimming through. Uh, so it's pretty amazing that you have all of that kind of responsibility laid on you. Part of your responsibility in caring for aquatic animals is to make other people appreciate them as much as you do. To have that kind of responsibility shouldered on you, you have to have the kind of experience and practical knowledge that I think this program gives you. At Cedar Creek Fitch Hatchery, which was a field trip that we took for a nutrition and reproduction class, there was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of different things. So there's two ways that eggs are incubated, either in these troughs or in these vertical incubators. So the, here the water is flowing horizontally, and here they're flowing vertically from one to the other. What I really appreciated about it was the opportunity to do the work very hands-on. There was lots of different things that we could do. We got right in and got wet and slimy with all the other folks, and it was just a great time. My interest lies in the education and aquarium husbandry sort of things, but there's such a wide array. We have students interested in uh, hatchery work, uh, working with providing you know, continuing species, and uh, we also have students interested in the retail end of things. Uh, there's a couple of students. One wants to go into private aquarium care. The other one wants to start an ornamental fish uh, retail business. I never thought that I would be doing what you just saw me doing, you know, handling fish and helping a vet do basically surgery on the eyes of fish uh, quite this quickly, uh, but it, it excites me so much to be able to do that kind of thing. It's, it's one of those things that you always dream about being in a class where you can get your hands dirty doing the stuff you're actually going to do when you graduate and you're finished with your program. Here we actually get to do it. It's, it's great. They don't hold anything back, which is awesome. The advantages that I've experienced are the fact that the college is very small and you get a lot of personalized attention, a lot of hands-on, one-on-one experience with the staff. Before, my experience with college has been uh, mostly listening to lectures and reading books and maybe occasionally going on a field trip maybe twice a year. Going to school at OCCC has been completely different. Um, we're in the lab almost every class period. We go on many field trips and uh, do a lot of hands-on experiences. It's, it's been great. I really like it a lot. A year ago, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But um, now that I've been at it and now that um, I've had the opportunity, kind of a unique opportunity to, uh, through the program, to work here at the Science Center. I, I, kn I know what I want to do. I want to design exhibits. Uh, um, uh, I want to build them. I want to maintain them. Uh, and that I've had the opportunity this summer to do. And uh, it's just, it's been fulfilling. Uh, I go home dog tired. 
you know, thinking, why am I doing this? But, you know, I can't wait to get back at it. it it's just, it's so exciting. And it's, uh, it's a small town atmosphere. The people of the college are friendly, they're knowledgeable. Uh, I had nothing but professional type help. Um, the college itself is just great on its own. In coordination with that is working over at the Hatfield Marine Science Center. And I think that's one of the main benefits of the aquarium science program is that we get to use these facilities in direct connection with Oregon State University. We have labs, we have obviously animals to use. Um, over here the staff is professional and, it, and it's, they encourage you to learn. You know, they want you to learn. They want you to step out and try stuff and to learn. And when you make that mistake, which I've made a bunch of them myself, they're there to help you. They're there to encourage. The encouragement has just been outstanding. And so uh, between the small town atmosphere and the learning here and the people, uh, it doesn't get any better. I mean, as far as I'm concerned.